Hey, how you doing? We gonna do some crafts. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Hello and welcome everybody to another craft tutorial. I am joined once again by Rebecca Pepperdine. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. I'm very weird today. I haven't slept. I've been up since four. Becky's been up since five. This is gonna get really weird. I feel strange. Um, we're making fun things today. What are we making, Becky? We are going to make uh, Majora's Mask because <gasps> Kim's been requesting it for like months. <laughs> I finally da -da. Um, So we're going to make, uh, <laughs> that's a really small Majora's Mask. Yeah, yes. we're going to make a, a full-size Kim wearable Majora's Mask. I can wear and this. Can I wear it to the supermarket? If you want. I mean, if you want to, sure. Uh, <laughs> And we're going to make another mask as well, which I, I've been toying with a lot of ideas, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a generic mask and base and then show you like how we could customize that so you can do that for your own project. Yeah. But this is going to be a three-part tutorial. Today, we're going to make a mold for your mask out of clay. <laughs> uh, next time, we'll make a... We'll sculpt over that with warbler. And then the final time, we'll do painting and finishing effects. So when you say making a mask, mm -hmm. like molding a mask, I am just imagining that episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine where they do forensics <laughs> training and they stick a mask over Boyle's face and then they forget to, mu uh, to Vaseline him and he just gets stuck in it. I mean, there is going to be next week we'll require Vaseline, oh um, but not my face. Okay. So, For other um, places? For other places. <laughs> Oh god, no! Too 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 soon. Um, it's going to be weird today. It really is. Okay. Um, first things first. Before you get started, materials list, please. Okay. So this is well. Today mainly you need clay, and you need some stuff <laughs> to build your mask over. So clay. I'm using das today. So this is you know a very simple kind of air dry clay. Basically, you want something that's cheap that's going to air dry and that is not like um not soft when it uh, when it kind of dries so like uh we've used uh model magic before and model magic can be a bit it kind of has that foamy like give sometimes when it's finished this will dry solid um I, my preferred air drying solid clay is paper clay but paper clay is expensive so today we're using das because das is cheap the right. purpose of the clay is just to make our mold, so with cheap clay. So cheap air dry uh, modeling clay, uh, okay. Dast or other brand. Um, Anything else? Right, so things, household things. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a clay mold for our mask. So we're basically going to build our mask out of clay. Now, you can't wear this as a mask because it's too heavy, but it's a really great way of sculpting. And it means you can make multiple masks. So we could make 10 Majora's masks if we wanted to oh. really easily. Um, so if you were to make the whole mask base out of clay on a flat surface, you would use a lot of excess material in the back of the shape. Yes? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you've got, if this is, actually, here's a mask. Here's, here's one I made earlier. No, uh, here's a mask. If you were building that off a flat surface, all of that would be clay that was wasted. So household objects to build a rough mold and a, a rough shape underneath, that means you're not wasting clay. So I've got a pie dish and I've got some uh, a cart door ice cream lid and to create the kind of oh, you fancy. shape the top of the mask. And I've got some jelly pots that are going to create the rough shape for the eyes. Ha <laughs> ha! I know it looks a bit like Mickey Mouse at the moment. I promise it won't when we're finished. Well, it's um, always, it's, it's just always like um, with the crafts, right? It always looks well dodgy. And then there's a point where it's like, <laughs> oh, actually. Oh, it's all coming together. So I'm just going to quickly kind of glue all these bits together with my glue gun and then tape them onto this so that they don't move about while we're trying to sculpt over them. Okay. So that is your so. first first step. I am just trying to find an image of Majora's Mask for all you cretins who don't know what one of the world's greatest video games looks like. It's all right, guys. I had to look it up as well. I... Un you're, you're still not okay with that, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. But yeah, Kim requested this when I was like, suggestions for, for making, please. And Kim requested this. So... The whole process of this, which I know looks a bit like Mickey Mouse now, but I promise it won't at some point. 
um, is just to kind of create that the rough shape and mean we use less clay. So what I've done there is I've covered that with uh, uh, cling film or plastic wrap or just something so the clay doesn't stick to it and I can lift it off later. Do you have to make it as tight as possible so it, it's true to the shape or is it okay if it's loosey goosey? Uh, not really because this is just kind of a base shape like you're going to build on top of this like this is just making getting rid of that excess clay so okay. you can be a bit scrappy about it and the weight of the clay will hold it in place oh, okay. in a minute anyway okay. so and then you just you know. taped the other bits to each other with like tape right like you just yeah mainly just because you know i didn't want to ruin my pie dish by glue gunning stuff to it true that <laughs> true that Yeah, we're, this is this is how Majora's Mask is coming on. You're pretty much already there. Um, so I'm just I'm using water to smooth all the clay out because this is quite uh, das is quite cracky, so you need to work it with a lot of water. Um, and yeah, then I'll go in and work the details. So get the eyes and there's the dot like the holes, breathing holes. I presume they're like hockey mask breathing holes. <laughs> Um, and just, you know, bobble out the eyes a bit more because they think they need to be a little bit bigger. Uh, and yeah, but that's that's how it's coming along. It's all good. So you got any tips for like, sh should you be like, what's the word? Don't know. Making it as good as possible or this is just like a rough, rough shape? Yeah. So get the rough shape first and then you need to make it as good as possible. This is your master cast, as it were. Okay. Um, this, like, so what we're going to do next week is we're going to use this to mold our warbler. Mm -hmm. um, so this has to be as every detail that is in this will get picked up by the warbler. So this needs to be as Smooth spot on. And like, right, okay. Um, and... But you know, there's plenty of time to work with it, so don't don't rush. There's no like this is why we've got a solid solid like thing underneath as well because mm -hmm. it just helps, gives you lots of you know pushing. And then, will you be leaving it to dry later? Yes. So this this episode episode week stream, what are we talking about thing, um, we'll get our clay mold like beautiful. Uh, Das actually usually only takes about 24 hours to dry, which is also another advantage it has over paper clay because paper clay can be up to three days. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this so this will dry between now and the next time. And then next time we'll make make nice things out of warbler with it. So we've got a question um, um, from Cap Falconian. Why do you only use one finger? I always put my whole hand in the water to smooth the surface. Um. Partly because I'm also aware that I've got a laptop and various tech, and if I have to do anything else, I don't want all my fingers covered with wet clay. Um, I yeah, I like using my fingers. I'm very I'm dexterous with my fingers, so I I can work with them. Um, and it's just yeah, I don't know. Uh, it depends what I'm working on, honestly. Uh, but yeah. It's just a thing I'm doing right now, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't well, even realize. <laughs> would you would you put things in like, you know, maybe marbles or something like that? Like, especially for the kind of eyes and things like that. Um, you definitely could do. What I'm going to do with these, which is what I've seen with some of the masks, is these little kind of the green bits. They've kind of dipped in and put like a little hole in the center. So you can actually see out of it properly as a mask. Hmm. So can I'm I just say, that Becky? Yeah. That looks lewd as fuck. <laughs> Stop it! Oh. Stop it! <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. That looked I'm lewd so as fucking hell. Oh, oh my so god! I did that face as well. I wish I hadn't. I'm I'm so sorry. I was just looking at it and I was thinking, this mask looks very um. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, without the spikes, it's 
you know. Oh stuff. no. <laughs> and who said our streams were wholesome? I know, right? Take it, you take it back, whoever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, my god. Swedish Marcus says, are you really making a breastplate? No, we're making Majora's Mask. It's right there below me. You see this thing? That's what we're making. We can't help if it looks like a boob. <laughs> That's it. Turn it on its side. That'll make it better. <laughs> Does that make it better? Okay, one. I'm not making boobies. I know they look like boobies, but they're not boobies. They're, we're making Majora's Mask, which is the picture you can see. Um, so, yeah, we're making Majora's Mask and we're gonna... This is a three-part stream. So today we are making a mold out of clay. So I'm using DAS air, air drying clay. You need a kind of, um, you need an air drying uh, clay that dries solid and is cheap. Um, and uh, yeah, underneath I've put like a base so that I'm not using loads and loads of clay. I mean, I'm still using like a kilogram of clay, uh, but that is also because DAS is heavy. Um, so yeah, we're making a mold for a mask that we will then, um, turn into a warbler mask next week so that's where we are so i've just done the kind of base and lots of smoothing and now i'm going to do some details on this and it is important to get this as perfect as possible essentially because the warbler is going to pick up every bit of i've got to stop fondling the face this will be a mask i promise one day it definitely will be a mask uh <laughs> So yeah, uh, so that's where we are. That's what we're doing. And yeah, we're gonna look at, I'm gonna try, how long have we got? Yeah, if I finish this in the next half hour, we can do another masks as well. So we're gonna try and do two masks. Um, so this is Majora's mask for Kim and we're gonna try and just do another kind of basic mask uh, shape that you could just, you could, and I'm gonna show you kind of how to build anything you like off that in a more organic way. So yeah. That's that's where we are right now. You explain the boobies. I've explained the boobies. Okay. Everyone thinks we're making boobies. No one is convinced it's a mask at all. Okay. Just... What is wrong with the shape, Kim? Tell me. Is it something like? Is it less than needs to be I think... less here? I think Was it's. It like I don't know here? if it's just the. I don't know if it's just the way the light is hitting it, but the left yeah. eye. Uh, actually, it might be the right on your side. That the other one. one. The other one. Yeah. Looks smaller and slightly yeah, higher I up. Is, I think it is smaller. I don't think it's higher up. I think that's just the light, but yeah. it's a bit smaller. It looks so smaller. We'll clay up. Yeah. We'll make the boob smaller. Yeah, and um, I think it needs a bit more. I think the eyes are too high up. Like, if you look more, at where the eyes yeah. are on the picture, it's yeah. like, what's the word? They're sort of midline. They're actually yeah. deceptively in the middle. Whereas your eyes so are quite high up to the top. What we're gonna do is gonna take a bit off here. Yeah, I think that's it. The, the eyes need to be more middle of the mask. We're gonna take a bit off here and add it on there, basically. Yeah, yeah. To help that out. Um, so yeah, basically this is the bit you wanna spend loads of time on. Yeah. Uh, because this is the bit that is your, your master make. Um, if you don't get this bit right, you're never going to get it right further along the process. Yeah. I think, I, the sh say I think the shape you're cutting is a lot truer as well, because it's actually quite yeah. sharp. Like, the, the mask quite is quite... Pointy at the whereas, base, at the it? moment, it's a bit curved. It's a bit too round yeah. and cute. But yeah, I do have a problem with making things overly cute. Which Apparently is hilarious. all my dragons are cute. I know given that you're more macabre <laughs> but yeah no, i think i think you're on the right lines to start fixing it up we're making majora's mask um you missed a morning of it looking like boobs and it, still looks a bit like it was very awkward because it just looked like Becky was massaging boobies for a good hour. Um, yeah, I was just smoothing boobs for yeah. an hour today. That's that's where we've been. Um, so what's your kind of next step now? So obviously you're doing all the kind of little embellishments. Um, I'm doing all the little details. Yeah. And then um, you're going to do so the yeah. spikes. Yeah, I probably need to do a, a spike. Um, but I want to just talk about like what I, I'll talk briefly at the end because I'm going to make another mask base, I think, just so that I can show you some 
other warbler technique okay. next week. Okay. Um, but I might make that other mask base uh, out off stream. Yeah. Because time, time is always against us. <laughs> <laughs> One um, that I've made earlier. <laughs> but as you know, I've shown you how that process works. I can just sort of talk you through what I'm going to do there. Um, and that will be just like a generic mask. If you guys have any any ideas about what you want to see um, on that mask, uh, what I'd like to do is build a generic mask and then build on top of it with Warbler. So if you've got like, I don't know, something, we could make an animal, we can make like something like a green man. A we dolphin. Make... Why? You know that horse mask that's doing the rounds? That one. What, the horrible one? Yeah. No. Uh, Jaranon says make a Kim mask. Wear my face. No. Available <laughs> on store.yogscast.com. Use the code Kim for a 10% discount. No. So there's these white lines and these yellow lines on Majora's Mask that are like, they're much flatter than like. It looks like paint rather than a feature, like a. Yeah, a and I think actually what we could do is we could do those completely out of Warbler, and mm -hmm. that will show us a bit of Warbler, Warbler sculpting as well, and another way of using. There's so many ways to use Warbler. It's so exciting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to have so much fun next week. Uh, just sharing sharing the joy with you all. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think I'm going to leave those off the mold and put those in later. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do need to put in little some, holes. some little holes. So I've got my little little stabby tool, little hole, hole making tool. Um, yeah, so we've got like two just below there. So two where the eye crease is. And then two sort of, I guess, where the mouth is. So yeah, I do have a picture grim. on my laptop so that I just sort of wasn't yeah. completely winging this. Yeah. I might need to come over a bit more. Are you going to have enough space up there? I I still think that there's still not enough space on the top of the mask. Yeah. Because it's six holes and four lines. Four lines. See, it's also hard because right now I can't lift. So yeah. there is like more of a, there is a curve off here. Oh, okay, right, yeah. But we can't but see it. I can't it. like tilt because to show, I can't. Yeah, because yeah, I can't move it until the clay starts drying. So I do feel like it's actually going to be better than it looks because it will like yeah basically it's this we is can't higher see. than that right now yeah we can't see the curve on it yeah but yeah the nice thing about uh, air dry clay you can add more clay to air dry clay and just rub it in with a bit of water and add in more clay so um, that's not too much of a panic um, but yeah that's looking it's looking a lot better shape wise than it did. Definitely. Yeah. So is there going to be space to do, because it's six dots on the top and then two lines? Is it six dots? Yeah. Oh, I've got four dots. So if I make this mega big, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, five, and then six. there's a bunch of lines on the top of that. In fact, there's... More depth there, is it there? six lines on the top of that? Bloody yeah. hell. I'm running out of clay. Yeah. Um, Sorry. So, <laughs> what? I, I'm going to have to uh, build the cones at another time and... Yeah. Um, build those out of a different clay or order more das. it's quite yeah. cheap the advantage you guys point. you guys know what that looks like S spikes in it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna gonna build some spikes that's uh oh it's fine basically this mask has just got bigger and bigger as yeah we've got a lot my face <laughs> is not that big i mean it does the mask is bigger than people's faces isn't it that's sort of you know if you see it on the characters yeah yeah it it's is not like, face sized it is like I mean, if you, yeah if you look at this boy on this thing here um so if i turn that to the side you can just about see his round little noggin sort of behind there there so it does sit awkwardly on his face this little poor little wood imp it's an it's an awkward shape, like, because it's not a fa natural face shape at all. Well, no, it's not a nice mask. It's not a nice mask. It's, it's, it's an evil mask. It's an evil mask. Evil. I don't think I don't think it was created with niceness and, you know, comfort in mind. Aesthetic, facial aesthetics. Actually, tell you what, they got, they've got the uh, detailing on this row. There's six holes and, uh, yeah, it's six lines on the top. 
I need like I need. So I don't know if you can see right view. on the top there, like in that little crease. There's three lines. Might need you to take me some really close-up yeah, pictures yeah. of this guy. Just uh, yeah. I'm feeling a lot happier about the shape yeah, now. Yeah, that looks that looks. Yeah. Should I turn it the right way up for for? Yeah. There we go. There we go. It looks less like boobies. Why you don't make a mask out of clay? Clay is friggin' heavy. Yeah. Like paper clay, yes you can, but actually Kim can attest to this with her headdress for LARPing, which did start getting a bit heavy. And it's fragile as hell. <laughs> and it's fragile. Yeah, warbler is plastic once it's solid. It's just like phenomenal stuff. Like, mm. oh, I love it. I love it yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. So just um, to keep us on track, quick update on what you've week? done. And then what do we need to do to prep for next week? Uh, yeah, go. Okay, so I'm going to probably smooth this out a bit more stream, but this one is perfect to get it to how you want your mask to come out at the end. Uh, I will also make some cones. Spikes. Spikes. Spikes, please. Um, so what I've done is I've started with a base that for me is a pie dish and some lids of things. And they're just so so that this is not solid clay because it would be very heavy and use a lot of clay. It still used a kilo of clay as it was. <laughs> big mask <laughs> um yeah and then we've just built the clay up over it that you want to get your shape as exact as possible this will this is your master mold so work on this until you're happy until everything's great and lovely and wonderful i think i need a bit more raised in the middle so a tiny bit of clay i can work on that with um but yes this is so if you want to join in next week build a mold is your first thing to get ready for next week mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do on my other mold is I'm going to copy this and this is why you use you know you put your cling film down because your clay won't stick to this so I don't need to worry about damaging anything I'm using underneath but I'm also I'm going to take it to this lovely um what is this this is a Wagamama takeaway bowl oh, okay <laughs> not sponsored um which I've just kind of used some wire to pull into more of an oblong shape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tape it to that so that I can build a bit of a bit more of a forehead into this mask. Okay. Um, just because I like the forehead, so I can build stuff on yeah. top of that. Like if we want to have antlers or we want to have, but we can build that out from there. So I'll make a kind of a mold of that kind of area as well. Um, and that will be my kind of standard base mask, which I'll show you next week. Mm -hmm. Um, as opposed to Majora's mask is quite specific. Yeah. I hope you guys, I hope someone wants other Majora's masks because uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, like, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find it. Um, Jim might get the mold as well. <laughs> so in terms of uh, materials for next week, so people are going to need warbler. So going back to a question that someone asked in chat earlier, what dimension of warbler do they need? Okay. So you're going to want to cover this whole shape with warbler. So a good way of doing this is once this is solid and dry is take a piece of paper and kind of stretch it over your your mold, your form. And then you can like make cuts and things so that you can get the paper roughly sitting like flush over it. And then when you spread that out, that's how much warbler you're going to need minimum. What about thickness? Uh, or warbler is all the same thickness. I don't know. It's warbler. Explain like I'm five. <laughs> um, so your two types of warbler really are, um, well, there's see-through warbler as well, but we're definitely not using that for now. Although if I end up building uh, Morpheus's mask from Sandman at any point, I might use some see-through warbler. Mm. Uh, this is warbler uh, finest art black or whatever. This is the black stuff. Um, the black one is meant to be like a slightly nicer finish than the standard. The standard looks like this. Um, it's a slightly, this has a slightly more grainy texture to it. The black is slightly smoother. But if you're going to treat things and um, like we're going to prime them and we're going to do stuff, paint them, like don't worry too much. I would probably only like worry about this if you want your mask to be black and you're not planning on finishing it or putting anything on top of it. Um, so this is standard warbler. It's called Warbler's Finest Art. Um, this is a roll of it that I bought from uh, so Coscraft uh, a couple of weeks ago. Coscraft do a roll. This is like a one meter by 70 centimeters roll and it's about 25 quid. Okay. Um, 
That was going to be my so, next question, yeah. And what kind of places yeah. can you get this from? Like, is it a fairly standard thing to get? Like, it's not like, you know, Unicorn's Tears or anything like that. You can get it it's from anywhere. Not like, it's not like Unicorn's but Tears, but it's not going to be from Hobbycraft or your shop unless they specialize in cosplay. I know, like, some of the American fabric stores yeah. sell this stuff in cell foam, but I don't think we have anywhere like here. Um, but Coscraft in the UK online is great and they're really quick. Like they said, it might be a week and it arrived the next day and they didn't okay. pay for fast shipping or anything. They're really lovely and uh, they're great if you need help and you're not sure. Um, it's just this is a thermoplastic is still quite specialist. Um, so it's not like everyone's using it. It's not turning up in craft shots. Uh, yeah, the other thing you will need um, is but you can buy this you don't have to buy a whole roll if you don't want to it's just cheaper to buy a whole roll you can buy it in like a4 a3 okay. small pieces yeah um so, so measure up feel... your mold first and then apply. measure up your mold then like work out how much if you want to buy more like because you've got projects or you think you might have projects do it and then other thing yeah i was gonna say are you gonna need like a heat gun because that seems like You're pretty gonna crazy need a heat gun. yeah okay so because we were meant to be crazy. like lockdown and like you know as cheap as possible like yeah but also then we talked about warbler and everyone was like we want to see warbler okay so, <laughs> so entry entry level warbler i mean to be fair this heat gun costs 10 quid okay that's pretty good um from screw fix so this is like a standard this is like a you know handyman's heat gun you don't need like a craft specific heat gotcha gun. okay so it's a pretty you standard know. common tool this is Screwfix's cheapest bog standard heat gun with, it's actually got two heats, like some of them only have one, mm -hmm. but this has two heat settings. I tend to use the, well, the hot one sets off my fire alarm, so I'll <laughs> use the lower one. And what, what kind of, because it says 2000 watts on there, like what kind of... Like... Honestly, if it's a heat gun, it'll do the trick. Okay. Um, yeah. Worker drone has said hairdryer question mark. Okay, you can use a hairdryer. However, I would not advise it. The heat level that you will have to get your use your hairdryer to, one, you'll have to have your hairdryer really hot. Two, you'll have to heat your warbler for longer, meaning that actually your warbler gets very hard to manipulate because it's absorbing so much heat over a period of time. Mm -hmm. Whereas because with the heat gun, you just kind of zap it for like, yeah. it's literally like five seconds you need yeah. to zap warbler for before it becomes manipulatable. Um, that you can still manipulate it with your fingers whereas when you've had it for like 30 seconds under a hairdryer it's too hot like the warbler has on the back side is glue so that it will stick to things that glue gets you can really burn yourself on that glue mm. um so yeah you can in a pinch use a hairdryer and it will work for this kind of modeling this kind of modeling onto like a a, a sculpt mm -hmm. um because you're not needing to manipulate the warbler much yeah so if you want to just get some water and try with your hairdryer to start with, I did that for a while. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I feel um, like it's just not the right tool though. Like it's just, it's, because drying your hair is very different to... Yeah, like don't, don't put your head under this. <laughs> Dear God, do not put your head under this. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh my god. Like, so so next week we're gonna be looking at pretty much just crafting the warbler. Like do they need anything else? Like any other materials or paints? Like do you think we'll get to that stage or will that be the third part? No, that will definitely be third part. Uh if okay. you've got soldering iron, uh have your soldering iron handy. Because you can do some it's not an essential, but you can do some fun effects with soldering iron and the warbler. Uh, that does produce smoke. Do you have windows open and well okay. ventilated? Okay. Um, so next week we need mold, warbler, heat gun. Mold, warbler, heat gun, spoon. Spoon. Okay. You need a teaspoon. That seems pretty it simple. Helps. That seems pretty simple. Um, but yeah, like the stuff I was able to create when I had a hairdryer was great. The stuff I was able to create as soon as I bought a heat gun were like this little guy. A little tiny little dragon. Little tiny Ooh. little dragon. And he was Hold made out of flat. scraps. So this is the amazing thing about Warbler. Yeah. You will not waste any of it. So yeah. if you buy a big piece, like nothing that you... If I hold him that way, you can see Yeah, that. that's what I was saying. Like, yeah. All the okay. way up. Um, that way up. That yep. way up. There, um, go. there we go. Uh, yeah. What was I saying? You will not waste any Warbler. Like every offcut can be reused. This guy was made from offcuts. Okay. So That's cool. I have a jar of warbler offcuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. So if you're going to buy a big thing, you can use all of it. Don't don't yeah. worry that you're wasting some. 
Okay, cool. Well, I think we'll leave it off there today because it's now two o'clock, yeah. so we need to hand over to the Hat Films. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for joining in today. Thank you for the subs and the donations. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, follow Becky on Twitter. Uh, check out her Patreon and uh, yeah, come and join us in the Discord as well. We've got an arts and crafts channel. You can ask all your art questions there. If you need, you're stuck, you need some inspiration, you need some tips and tricks. Uh, but otherwise, we'll be back next Wednesday, 11 a.m. Uh, I will possibly be back on Friday, uh, 2 p.m maybe doing paper mario we'll see depends how much this uh this migraine cripples me for the rest of this week but for now cool. thank you very much for joining what's that and there's an etsy update going up the, in oh, my shop this afternoon becky's got stuff becky's got new stuff to sell in the store so do keep an eye uh on that um but yeah for now thank you very much for joining us and i will hand you off to um hat films enjoy the hat films i enjoy them dying a lot in tarkov <laughs> i think that's what they do on wednesdays i don't know it might be rocket league who knows right we're gonna go to this screen uh oh yeah bye bye becky bye bye, bye. bye.